So let's have a look at the application again. So going under um, the settings here of the user, I can actually see my profile now. We can upload, we can change images, but how does it actually work on the back end? That's what we're going to look into now. The first step, if you guys want to use my setup, is to actually go into Cloudinary here and create an account. So I've made an account on Cloudinary. It's a very simple UI as I see it. Uh, I have a dashboard here where I can get some information about myself, my use of my API, my secret key that I will not reveal to anybody. Um, I have a media library here where I can see all my different images available. It's a very basic place. And then I also have videos and files if I have any of those uploaded. And, and that's kind of what Cloudinary is. It's a place for me to store my files. That's what we're going to use. That's where we're going to upload the images. So you need an account here if you want to use my setup. Now, if I go in and I do Cloudinary and I do a search um, for Node.js, we're lucky because Cloudinary already made an integration with Node.js. So they have a great explanation about how to use that. At the same time, we also have a great tutorial from Patrick Riley here. And if I scroll down, he pretty much explains everything we have to do to make this work in an express route. So I just followed his example, kind of. And then I added a few things here and there because, well, that's just the way I am. Um, but, but you can kind of follow along his example if you want to. But if you have any questions or you want to expand on this, they have a great tutorial uh, on Cloudinary and how to use Node.js. So it's up to you what you want to do. But where to start? Well, I just want to start off making the new route. So here we are on the back end now, remember that, and I'm under the index file under server API user index.js. And here I've made a new route, and I've made it right here. It's called puts with the ID of the actual user I want to update and the profile photo. And right now I'm just authenticating if he's logged in. We need to later do more because we want to know not only if he's logged in, but we also want to know that he's actually himself. Right? We don't want others to update your profile image without you knowing it. And then, of course, again, like we've seen a few times, we're going to hit the update profile photo inside the controller. And let's just go in there just to have a look at what's in there. Actually, I'll do this for the next lesson. This lesson, I'll just show you one more thing, and that is the model here. So if I scroll down, um, you'll see that I added something to the model. That was a bit far, but I added to the user model a new guy here called photo and it's just a string because that's just going to be a URL that I save in the database. Nothing more than that. The last thing I want to show you before I end this lesson is that we actually downloaded and used the Cloudinary plugin and to figure what that one out, how to get that, you can just look at their tutorial here. It says npm install Cloudinary and then of course you have to do a a dash dash save and then you're up and running with Cloudinary pretty much. And then this is how you require their, their plugin inside your code and that's just what I did right here. And we'll look more into this in the next lessons. So this is just setting up the route, getting ready to use Cloudinary and just giving you guys a brief introduction to Cloudinary. See you in the next lesson.